गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्लास विच विल बी यूजफुल फॉर द डिप्लोमो स्टूडेंट्स एंड एज वेल एज फोर्थ सेम बी फार्म students it will be the continuation which we have discussed about the basic definitions classification we are going to discuss this is actually they have asked even an essay question also sometimes they used to ask five mark question and even essay question also they used to ask uh, write about different classification with example If it is an essay question, it is must for you to give lots of examples. Even if you write about its botanical names and family, one or two at least, it will be more supportive. That's what you should remember. So, classification of crude drugs. How they made in Kogunasi? there are different types of classification we are going to discuss about how they classify with some example which i can but there are many examples which can be given by the students by referring more so here we are discussing about the different types of classification of crude drugs they can be classified by alphabetic classification simple everybody knows about maybe english usually the english alphabetical classification and latin also possible morphological classification taxonomic classification pharmacological classification of the crude drugs chemical classification of crude drugs chemo taxonomical classification which is an advanced one still it is work is going on for various classification by chemo taxonomy chemical as well as the taxonomic classification using various factors so classification plays a major role for a crude drug so alphabetic classification means alphabetical classification means is a simplest one is a initial one simplest way of classifying of any disconnected items crude drugs are arranged in alphabetical order of their latin or english name the names of the plants sometimes common name sometimes even local names vernacular names can also be taken in some cases for this classification some of the pharmacopias dictionaries and reference books which classify crude drugs according to this system are as follows like indian pharmacopia british pharmacopia british herbal pharmacopia United States Pharmacopoeia and National Formulary British Pharmacopoeia Codex European Pharmacopoeia European Pharmacopoeia these are arranged according to their names in Latin where in USP and British Pharmacopoeia Codex they are arranged in English merits of this classification it is easy and quick to use there is no repetition of entry and is dis- devoid of confusion in this system location tracing and adding of drug entries is easy demerits also there in this system there is no relationship between previous and the successive drug entries which is made because it is only classified by means of their alphabetical order example when you are ordering <coughs> acacia benzoin cinchona 
del by A, B, C, D in order. I have just one one example. Ergot, Fennel, Gentian, Hyosimus, Ipicacuana, Jalab, Kurchi, Licorice, Mince, Naxomica, Opium, Podophyllum, Quasia, Ravalfia, Senna, Vasaka, Wool, Fat, Yellow Beast Wax, Zeodri. So this is how one one example they are asked, have given for the alphabetical order. Next comes the morphological classification. Morphological classification. By means of the morphology of the crude drugs. In this system, the drugs are arranged according to the morphological or external characters of plant parts or animal parts. That is, which part of the plant is used as a drug. Sometimes leaf may be used. Roots may be used in some plants. Stem may be used. Sometimes whole plants also may be used. So according to that you can classify them. The drugs obtained from the direct part of the plant or plants are containing cellular tissues are called as organized drugs. That we can classify like leaf, root, stem, bark, st flower, fruit like that and rhizome. So organized part, example rhizome, bark, leaf, fruit, entire plant, hairs of the plant that is root hairs and fibers of the plant. These all can be done as an organized drug which are cellular tissues of the plant structure. The drugs which are prepared from, from plants, prepared from plants, the word we are using prepared from plants by some intermediate physical process such as insertion, drying or extraction with a solvent are not containing any cellular plant tissues are called as unorganized drug. Example like aloe juice, opium latex, agar, gelatin, tragaganth, benzoin, honey, beeswax, lemongrass oil etc. are examples of unorganized drugs. Organized drugs exa examples woods, quassia, sandalwood, red sandalwood, leaves, example digitalis, eucalyptus, zimnima, mint, senna, sperma, spermamint, Squill, Tulse, Vasaka, Coca, Bauchi, Hamamils, Hyosimus, Belladonna, Tea. Bark example Arjuna, Ashoka, Cascara, Cassia, Cinchona, Cinnamon, Kurchi, Kulia, wild cherry. Flower parts, example, clove, pyrethrum, saffron, santonica, chamomile. Fruits, example, amla, anise, bale, behra, bitter orange peel, Capsicum, caraway, cardamom, colocynth, 
coriander, cumin, dill, fennel, gokuru, hedra, uh, sorry, hedda, lemon peel, senna pot, star anise, tamarind, vidang. Seeds example, bitter almond, black mustard, cardamomum, cold chicken, ispagulla, kaladana, linseed, nutmeg, naxomica, physostigma, psyllium, strophanthus, white mustard. So we have given some examples for organized drugs also. So when you write example, it is very very important for you to write in a question answer especially. Roots and rhizomes also examples which has more crude drug, drug medicinal activities samples we have given in examples. Aconite, Ashwagandha, Calamus, Kalumba. Cold chicken corn, Dioscorium, Galanga, Garlic, Gentian, Ginger, Ginseng, Glycerisa, Podophyllum, Epicac, Epomia, Jalap, Jetamansi, Rawalfia, Rhubarb, Sasuria, Seniga, Satavari, Turmeric, Valerian, Squill. This all comes in the roots and rhizome. Plants and herbs and tear when we are using. Ergot, Ephedra, Bacopa, Andrographis, Calmac, East, Venka, Vinka, Datura, Centilla. Hairs and fibers of the plants or hairs and fibers like cotton, jute, silk, flake. These are some examples for organized drug. Unorganized drug, dried latex, opium, papain. Dried juice, aloe, kino, dried extract, agar, alginate, black katachu, pale katachu, pectin, waxes, beeswax, spermacity, carnaba wax, gums, acacia, guar gum, Indian gum, stersulia, tregagam. Resins, Asafectida, Benzoin, Colophony, Kapaiba, Guacam, Gukul, Mastic, Coal Tar, Tar, Tolu Balsam, Storax, Sandrak, Volatile oils, turpentine, anise, coriander, peppermint, rosemary, sandalwood, cinnamon, lemon, caraway, dill, clove, eucalyptus, nuts, nutmeg, camphor. Fixed oils and fats, arachis, Castrol, Chalmogram, Coconut, Cotton Seed, Lens Seed, Olive, Sasim, Almond, Theobroma, Cod Liver, Halibut Liver, Cocoon Butter, Animal Products, Beeswax, Catharides, Cod liver oil, gelatin, halibut liver oil, honey, 
शार्क लेवर ऑयल शेलैक स्पेरमासिटी वैक्स वुल फैट मस्क लैक्टोस फॉसिल ऑर्गनाइज ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड ए मिनरल्स बेंटोनाइट कायोलिन कैसेलगर चाल्क देर आर मेनी but some examples and some classification which we have to do difference between organized and unorganized drug just sometimes a short question they may ask as we have discussed about the cellular structure parts of the plants and animals organized drug some of the differentiation is there the organized drug this may be of plant or animal origin unorganized this may be plant or animal or mineral origin and this may direct plant or animal part these are product of plant or animal these are cellular structure organized drug unorganized drug do not have well defined cellular structure generally organized drug identified by morpho- morphological character but generally unorganized drugs are unidentified by organoleptic properties examples for organized drug which we have seen many but still here also we have added digitalis leaf singona bark and ephedra stem they are parts of the plants which can be example for organized drug unorganized drug which are exudates and extracts which is prepared an example you can given that is agar gelatin honey opium they all comes under an unorganized drug merits of this morphological correct classification is more helpful identify and detect adulteration and this system of classification is more convenient for practical study especially when the chemical nature of the drug is not clearly understood the merits of this morphological classification is the main drawback of morphological classification is that there is no correlation of chemical constituents with the therapeutic action which you have classified by morphologically now we are coming to the taxonomical classification which i have given some details which is of taxonomical classification is purely botanical you should know about the botany classification based on the principle of natural relationship and evolutionary developments evolution that is not evaluation it is evolution of de- developments they are grouped by kingdom phylum order family genus and species which gives the biological name for the plant as as all the entire plant are not used as drug part of the plant it is used as a drug for example cinnamon bark thus it is no significance from identification point of view to put plant into an taxonomical order in the table which is shown in the next slide give the account of main characteristic of various taxon that contribute crude drug while as the table again the two tables i have shown that is from the this is taken from your reference book of publication according to your syllabus and give the taxonomy classification of the some drug also given in the table 2 so in this table you can see that is this is table 1 i have given because it was little lengthy talking about this table one characteristic of various taxon contribute of crude drug plant kingdom <coughs> talophyta teridophyta you should know gynes gyno that is gymnosperm and androsperm and monocot and dicot this is the four classification which you should know about here talophyta example you can see algae and fungi are considered together their differs in mode nutrition algae exhibit autotrophic and fungi exhibit hydrotrophic nutrition example rhodophyta red algae ag- agar 
Pteridophyta, when you talk about Pteridophyta, this group of plant derives its, its name from the fern Petris, which also represent salient future group Petrido Petris, phyton plant. They occur is humid and tropical climate in humid and tropical climate and usually grow ground on soil rock in ponds etc these plants are co also called as rice in pots or ornamental example male fern so pteridophyta so this first main characteristic classification by plant kingdom the students should know what is Thalophyta example what is Pteridophyta and example that's what my aim to give you this two details and now comes in the same table about the gymnosperm and ant and angiosperm that is four categories are there in this classification of taxonomy of kingdom in this gymnosperm the gymnosperms gymnos naked and the sperm seeds the plants with the naked seeds are comparatively more ancient than the angiosperm in evolutionary terms the living gymnosperms are widely distributed in cold climates the plant body is sporophyte and differentiated into roots stems and leaves example ephedra and the colophony so gymnosperm you can remember about the ephedra and the colophony Angiosperm, the term angiosperm means closed seed, closed, enclosed seed because of ovules. You might be knowing about the gynecium ovules or potential seed are closed within a hollow ovary. The angiosperm constitute the most dominant and ubiquitous vascular plants of present day flora dicotyledons and monocotyledons what do you mean by monocotyledons these are all important botanical basics should be known for a pharmacognosy students monocotyledons they have one cotyledon in the seed you know example vanilla colchicum dicotyledon they are two cotyledons example coriander Coriander is an umbiliferacea fruit, capsicum, they are dicotyledon, monocot and dicot you should know in this taxonomy. And table number two taxonomy can be classified with some examples of the drug also, phylum, pteridophyta like ba bacteria, fungi, lichens, rhodophyta, order, Gilidalis, Gilidaceae, drug example agar, Pteridophyta, that which we have discussed now, Pteridophyta, liver hearts, mosses and ferns, we have discussed about it is an ornamental plant also in the pot can be kept in the house, Filicales, Polypodiaceae, male fern, Gynosperms, genitalis, coniferae, ephedraceae, pinaceae, example family, example of the drug ephedra and colophony. Angiosperms, monocotyledons, example lily florae, order, microspermae, in the order example lily lily flora example lily aca colchicum is the drug example microsperm a family example that is 
डायोस्कोरिएसिए ड्रग डायोस्कोरिया ऑर्चिडेसिए फैमिली वेनिला एग्जांपल फॉर एंजियोस्पर्म्स इन एंजियोस्पर्म्स डाइकॉटलिडेंस देयर इज मोनोकॉटलिडेंस एग्जांपल वी हैव सीन जस्ट बिफोर डाइकॉटलिडेंस एग्जांपल ऑर्डर पैपरवेलिस एग्जांपल पैपरवेसिए फैमिली एंड द ड्रग ओपियम एंड ऑर्डर रोसालिस Family Rosaceae, fam. example almond rose oil, balsam of Tolu, and Leguminaceae you can use as a balsam of Tolu as an example. And Malis, Malvis, Malvilis, in that Malvaceae family, Sida is an example of the drug. Order Umbelliferae, family um, um, Uh, sorry, umbelliferae family, umbelliferae C A, and the drugs example caraway and the coriander. Tubiflorae family order and the family in the dicotyledons family, convolvulaceae, convol that is convolvulaceae. Sorry, convolvulaceae, labiate, the drugs is sankumushpi. menta solanaceae scrophovularaceae example belladonna and digitalis in the angiosperm order plantagenelles is example of the family plantagenaceae drug plantago and in angiosperm dicotyledons order For comparables, family Lobelaceae, and the drug is Lobelia. So here, the merits for this taxonomical classification is helpful for studying. evaluation or evaluate evaluate evaluatory that means about the pteridophytum gyno gynosperm uh, that is angiosperm uh, and about their dicotyledons order phylum and the monocotyledons about their developments evolutionary developments can be studied what about the drawbacks or the demerits this system also does not have correlationship between the chemical constituents or biological activity or therapeutic activity or the medicinal activity of the drug relationship is not there when you are having a classification coming to the pharmacological classification grouping of drug according to the pharmacological action or of the most important constituent there will be many constituent in a plant so the most important plant will be taken as a consideration same plant will have many many therapeutic action that will be another complication in this classification so according to the pharmacological classification most important constituents of their therapeutic use is termed as pharmacological or therapeutic classification of drug this classification is more relevant and is mostly followed method even in for diploma syllabus we are following the pharmacological classification of the drug for your study of crude drug details and their monographs in your syllabus drugs like digitalis squel and strophanthus having cardiac actions cardiotonic action are grouped together it is cardiac glycoside irrespective to their parts some of them seed some of them leaf some of them bark some of them stem will be used even exclusively squill is underground bulbs leaf with digitalis trophanthus is a seed and so when you see they are apart from their parts of the plant but their constituent is having the use in the cardiotonic action so they are grouped into one 
That's why we use that word irrespective to their parts. Use of that is phytogenetic relationship or the nature of the phyto constituents they, they contain. Classification of the crude drug based on the pharmacological action example anti-cancer drugs example Vinca, Podophyllum, Taxus, anti-inflammatory example Colchicum, Turmeric, Anti-amoebic example epicac root kurchi bark and the asthmatic example ephedra lobelia and the andalmendic andalmendic male fern quassia wood antispasmodic datura hyoscyamus Astringent, Katachu. Analgesic example, Opium, Poppy. Bitter tonic, Quasia wood, Nexomica, Gentian. Carminatum, Coriander, Fennel, Clove, Peppermint. Purgatives, Senna, Rhubarb. Expectorant, Tulsi, Balsam of Tulu, Vasaka, Cardiotonic, Digitalis, Squill, Strophanthus, Tranquilizers, Example, Rawolfia Roots. We have narrated some examples, but the students should know. Simply, I am just giving anti cancer which acts against the unwanted proliferative growth in different parts of your body which causes and the cell unwanted development of this proliferate developments can be stopped by means of the drug examples which I have given like Wincrestin, Winblastin which is present in Winca and anti-inflammatory what is anti-inflammatory we should know about all these terms reduces the inflammation there are many types of action by means of prostoglandin inhibitors, COX-1, COX-2, COX-3 inhibitors. So these all things you will be studying in pharmacology in the same semester. And diploma students also will be coming across all these definitions is very important. Simply studying the definitions name without knowing the meaning will not have any useful. So kindly study the definitions which I have given here also and refer other. All subjects are interrelated in pharmacy. So what is anti-amoebic? Amoebic dysentery, you might have the, the drugs which acts against amoebiasis. Protosoval, anti-protosoval drugs. It is given crude drugs like epicac, kurchi, anti-asthmatic, the patient which is having asthma due to the construction of the bronchial. Anti-asthmatic patients can be treated with ephedra, lobelia, andalmendic, expelling the worms which is present in the GIT, can be male fern, quassia wood which we have given the example. Antispasmodic spasm, spasm, especially abdominal spasm. Reducing spasm can be done by Datura stromanium, which has the co main constituents atropin. Sulfate atropin is can be used for this purpose. Astringent. Example we have given Katachu. What is astringent? Precipitates the protein for healing internally, externally. Any injuries, precipitating, bloating, bleeding can be stopped, healing can be improved. So this astringent effect, example, katachu, pale katachu, black katachu, there are many examples are there for tannins. Analgesic effect, 
relieving pain there are narcotic analgesic non narcotic analgesic anti inflammatory non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs is all you will be studying in your pharmacology but here at least you should know the definition what is analgesic relieves the pain by acting the central nervous system the example we have given muscle relaxants are there many drugs you will be studying in pharmacology here analgesic example opium poppy bitter tonic appetizer increases the secretions and digestion that the example quassia wood next vomica ginseng carbonate you which is expels the unwanted gas which is formed in your git and give the functions of the digestion increases an unwanted gas clogging in your git can also be expelled by means of this after a heavy food and after a lunch usually we will used to chew with phenyl this is having the carbonative effect so students should know the definitions very clearly without knowing the definitions simply if i focus all these things i don't think you have to refer and study in the beginning stage itself it should be in your finger tip coriander fennel clove peppermint purgatives what do you mean by purgatives there are cathartic purgative laxative to evacuate the bowel sometimes constipation will be there in old age but nowadays youngest also according to your food so senna ruba they contain anthropine glycosides which have the purgative effect laxative effect action of drugs in the evacuating of the bowel there are different types of purgatives laxatives irritant purgatives smooth purgatives you will be studying in details about this example senna ruba expectorant anti tussives expectorant this all in detail you will be studying in pharmacology as a pharmacy students expel this pudam expel this pudam which is from your respiratory or upper respiratory tract infections cough can be solved by tulsi balsam tolu vasaka it contain vasasin vasasinon the main constituent which has the expectorant effect cardio tonic the person who is having the cardiac muscle myocardial infraction and also cardiac cardiac muscle strength can be give, taken by means of digoxin digitoxin scularin in a this all scularin in a is present in squill cardio cardio glycosides you will study in details about this constituents which is present in digital squill strophanus they are cardiac tonic and cardiac glycosides tranquilizers which are more useful for many purposes like even hypertension and tranquilizers psychotic drugs can also be used it has reserpine serpentine these are the main constituent which is present in the ravulfia root which is a very old drug and having lots of medicinal use comes under tranquilizers there are still there may be many classifications can be given for pharmacological action so this classification according to the pharmacology students needed to study about the pharmacological action not by simply writing the name of the classification but you should write about the detail or the definition of the classification merits of this classification this system of classification can be used for suggesting substitutes of drugs if they are not available at a particular place or point of time demerits drugs having different action on the body gets classified separately is more than one group that cause ambiguity and the confusion so as i told in same drug there will be lot of pharmacological action example you can see cinchona bark contain quinine which is used for anti malaria quinidine which is used for anti fibrillative 
so it is cardiac related for rhythmic anti fibrillatic drug so this so quinidine and quinine is for anti malarial anti protosoven so that is why we can have a confusion same drug having different constituents and different action Sincora is an anti-malarial drug because it presence of quinine but can be put into under another group of drug effect in the heart as an anti-arrhythmic or anti-fibrillating agent due to presence of quinidine just an example chemical classification the crude drugs are divided into different groups according to the chemical nature of their most important constituents since the pharmacological activity and the therapeutic significance of the crude drug are based on the nature of their chemical constituents the chemical classification of the drug is dependent upon the grouping of the drug with identical constituents and out of this classification is as follows example one carbohydrate carbohydrates and polyhydroxy acetaldehyde are ketones contain an unbroken chain of carbon atom gums example acacia tragacanth guar gum mucilage example platago seed and other starch example honey agar pectin cotton you will be studying in detail about each in the separate chapters and glycoside is our chemical classification glycosides you know glycosides are made up of glycosidal linkage with an a glycan molecule and a glycan molecule glycosides are compounds which is are hydrolyzed to give the two or more sugars glycan part and non sugar part is a glycan androken glycosides example anthro allose cascara rhubarb senna saponin glycosides quillia arjuna glycerisa cyanophore glycoside wild cherry bark isothiocyanate glycoside mustard cardia glycoside distillatis trophanthus bitter glycoside gelat gelat sorry gentian kalumba quassia cerata calmer and tannin when you come to tannin tannins are this is chemical classification tannins are complex organic non nitrogenous derivatives of polyhydroxy benzoic acid polyhydroxy benzoic acid example pale catechu black catechu asoka bark gals myrobalon behera amla volatile oils example monoterpenes and sesquiterpenes obtained from plants examples cinnamon fennel dill caraway coriander cardamom orange peel mint clove valerian lipids fixed oils castor oil olive oil almond oil shark liver oil fats example theobromine lanolin example waxes bees wax and spermaceti resins complex mixtures of compounds like resinols resinic acid resinotanols and resins example colosin sorry colophony podophyllum cannabis jalap capsicum turmeric balsam of tolu and peru as affected are myrrh and ginger alkaloids nitrogenous compounds of the plant origin pyridine and piperidine example lobelia nicotiana tropane alkaloids example coca belladonna atropa 
Stromanium hyoscyamus henbane. Quinoline alkaloids is synchona isoquinoline alkaloids, opium, epicac, calumba. Calumba. Indole alkaloids, example, ergot and ravulfia. Amines, ex alkaloids, example, ephedra. Purine alkaloids, tea and coffee. And proteins, the next classification in, in the chemical classification gives example of gelatin, fissin and papain. Vitamins, example, yeast, triterpenes, rasna, colosynth. And merits of this chemical classification is a popular approach of phytochemical studies. Demerits, ubiquities arises when particular drug possess a number of compounds belonging to different groups of compounds which you face in the pharmacology. Here also constituents, different constituents will be present in the same plant. The last classification which is under study, which we have to know about this, what type of study? Chemo taxonomical classification. It is having lots of, even they used to see the reaction with certain compounds or development by means of a medium reacting with uh, what is the development of the colonies and uh, how the reactivity of the compound by means of that is also a classification reaction by both biology and the chemistry. So this system is classified rely on the chemical similar to the taxon. It is based on the existence of relationship between constituents of various plants with their action. There are certain types of chemical constituents that characterize certain classes of plants. So some classes of plants Solanaceae plants will be having certain chemicals which is common. So like that we are categorizing and evolution of the plant. <coughs> this gives birth to <coughs> and a new concept of chemo taxonomy that utilizes chemical facts characters. For understanding of taxonomical status relationship to the evolution of the plants like family a total family of and chemicals for example tropane alkaloids generally occur in solanaceae fa family thereby serves as a chemo taxonomic marker so we make a marker <coughs> markers there are analytical markers understand there are analytical markers specific constituent markers, therapeutic markers, many markers are there which can easily give an identification or a group can be done. So here, you can have a marker for chemotherapy, toxonomic marker for propane alkaloids as it comes under all the Solanaceae family. Similarly, other secondary plant metabolites can serve as a basis of classification of crude drugs. The berberin alkaloids and berberis and arnimone or argimone, a constituent which is present, they, they all of them comes under berberin which is having a similar. Rutin and rutaceae members, rutin present in the rutaceae members. Most of the rutaceae members, <coughs> they contain rutin. Ranunculaceae alkaloids, among its member, etc. are other examples. It is the latest system of classification which gives more scope for understanding the relationship between chemical constituents and the biosynthesis and their possible action. So we are talking about the biosynthetic pathways and how the secondary metabolites <coughs> are produced in various plants in the same family, taxonomy and as well as the chemistry behind and the reactivity can be studied including biological also which comes under a basic a new chemo taxonomical classification which has an interesting research work is still going on. The students can think about this. 
and this makes me to give you a short classification detail but the students can go little more wider reference and make yourself a good notes and keep with you that will be no once you listen to the class and then you go for the some uh, take a hints it's not possible to write all the lecture which i am giving so lecture can be listened and take some hints and elaborated by means of referring in a library or in internet facilities which you have in your home thank you have a great day